Hi friends, today we are at uh, Pelagic Tribe Bangalore showroom. Let's have a look at what all we have in Pelagic Tribe. The location details of the showroom is available in the beginning of the video. Also I will be providing it in the description. Let's have a look at all different kinds of lures and uh, rods we have it in Pelagic Tribe. After seeing all these lures, our Pelagic Tribe lure professional expert Satya will be explaining about some of the lures. I will also provide the contact details of Satya in the description. If you want to know anything specific about fishing, you can directly connect Satya and uh, he will be able to clarify your doubts. Satya is the professional lure expert from Pelagic Tribe and he can explain about different varieties of lures and uh, how to use those. Hi, I'm Satya and I'm a part of Pelagic Tribe. So I'll just explain you some of the lures and the brands we have and also some of the best lures for particular features which we use. And the first step uh, for the Barracudas, we go for the Tide Mino Slim. Comes in around 120mm, 140mm, 175mm and we have a 200mm which is the longest version. So these are much better for the barracudas and Indian salmon kind of fishes. So they use it a lot for the barracudas. So what's the cost for uh, this one? Uh, the cost would be something around thousand eight forty for the lure. Right? For the lure, and do has the wider range of lures actually, and these are the new newly launched fang stick top water baits for the walk the dog action comes in a variety of colors like this okay best for this, water yeah, and this uh, for which fish uh, right now they have caught it for indian salmon in this kerala okay uh, we have sent uh, quite a lot of stuff to the uh, kerala guys so they got good amount of indian salmon so and works for any top water species like gts barracudas indian salmon all those fishes it works for and uh, Apart from that, these are rough prey. These are rough prey lures. Like these are meant for long and heavy casting. So, looking looking at the weight of this now, the lure is just 110 mm and 92 oh. mm. So, the weight of the lure is going to be 64 grams and 50 grams per, respectively. So, looking at the weight, these are meant for long casting stuff. Shore okay. casting. From the shore, you can cast long. From the shore, you probably target the same GT Indian salmons. For those fishes, you need very long casting. So okay. You need to retrieve it in a long, uh, straight path so that they would get it. And we have some top water, good top water lures like the pencil, the pencil 110 mm and the 148 mm. So this weight for this one is like. Uh, um, yeah, you can see the weight over here. Yeah. The 110 mm is 18 grams 18 and the 148 mm is 40 grams. And the cost is? Cost uh, is around 1500 for the 148 mm and 1200 for the 110 
so obviously we do have all the varieties of blowers like from ranging from the smallest one to the biggest one yeah. these are the rough trail hydra one of the best top water uh, pencil bait okay you can skip across the surface like these are mainly used for queen fish king oh, fish king fish and those kind of sea fish uh, kind of fishes ja bhai yes sir and obviously we do have the fang pop the best popper and the real is pencil bait which probably all the people will be known about it how much for uh, this one uh, the fang pop yeah the fang pop would be 1500 bucks and this 1570 and this is 1227 for the real is pencil 110 mm and also we have the real is pencil 138 mm at 130 1227 and this is the newly launched lipless minnow from duo it is a sub surface lure which okay. dives just under the surface so most of the pelagic species kind of fishes no they love to take the lures on the top and this is the recent arrival from duo So this is a soft one. Soft right? ones yeah. from Doe. Initially we had the realist retail share in Doe. Yeah. What's so the weight for uh, this one? It's like 14 grams, right? The 14, 14 grams. grams. The head is around 14 grams yeah. and this can be changed to either from okay. a paddle tail or a wriggly tail. The head is the same. You can change over to that with the okay. wriggly tail and the paddle tail. And what the cost of this one? And the cost should be 640 rupees. 640. Okay. Okay. Obviously, we have the drag metal range of jigs over here, okay. ranging all the way from 15 grams till about 60 grams in weight. Okay, 60 grams. Okay, what the price for this one? Uh, price would be something around the seven five hundred, starting from about four hundred five hundred, okay, till about eight hundred rupees. Depends on the model. Like we have the slow slow fluttering jig and the drag metal cast, okay, and then we have the slim. And we have the super slim for the very deep places. Okay. The slow ones are meant for the shallow places or the slow jigging, and the super slims are meant for fast falling in very deep places. Like people who fish from shore mostly have to go with the slow and the drag metal cast. That will be the best option. Okay. And anything else to show? And from then we just move on to the Zerik products. We have a list of Zerik products over here. Yeah. And Zerik. This is one of the most famous and the fast selling product. Yeah. This is the the Tango Shad actually. It's a deep diver. So this is catches true. a lot of mangrove jacks, groupers, barramundis. All the fish are targeted with this. What's the weight for the weight for this and one? And uh, actually, it comes in two models: a floating and a suspending one. So there will be two models, and you take a suspending one. In the 89 mm, it's okay. going to be like uh, 20 grams of weight. So whereas when you take a floating one in the same 89 mm, it's going to be 17.5 grams. Okay. Like 2.5 grams difference of weight is there. And this is a suspending one. That's a floating model. And the uh, cost difference is cost. Uh, the cost is the same. There is no difference in the okay. cost. Okay. 955 for the 89 mm and 900 for the 69 mm. So and we have some micro fishing lures. Like these yeah. are deep divers in the micro fishing. I mean, like for ultra light fishing kind of stuff, you can go with these kind of deep divers. And we have the same tango shad in 50 mm, probably the last piece left out. Oh, okay. these can be used for ultra light and light stuff. And the cost for this one is the uh, cost for this one is 650 bucks. 650. Yeah. Frog lures over here, like we have the Masai tackle frog, Masai tackle wooden jumping frog, comes in two models, the Gaudi and the Goto. These are Masai tackle, and we have the Zeri frogs, Gandalf, and we have a couple of sure catch frogs. They came in frogs. These are jumping frogs from Shore Catch. Okay. Masai tackle. These are all wooden one or uh, the soft? These two are plastic ones. Okay. This is a wooden one and this is also a wooden one. Wooden one. Okay. And 
Moving from that, we have the soft low, soft frogs, hollow frogs, the Shimano hollow frogs, Bantam, okay. newly launched ones. Okay. And what what will be the cost for uh, the Shimano? The Shimano ones will be thousand three hundred bucks. Okay. Thousand three hundred and thirty-four. So these are our pelagic type launched frogs. Okay. These are the Crocan. And we have Cape. Three thousand two hundred. When the cost for this one? We have seven colors one? in this one. Okay. And uh, four colors of the Cape. This is fifteen grams, and this one is thirteen grams. This is this is two ninety nine, and this is two forty nine. Two forty nine. Okay. And also we have the sure catch tiny frogs, seven grams one. Okay. This would be around three twenty nine. The price of this frog would be three twenty nine bucks. Frogs are mainly for uh, bass and uh, no mean, snake herds. Frogs herds are mainly right? for snake. Snake herds, right? We yeah. have bass and all that, yeah. so we do use it for only snake, snake herds, right? Snake. Yeah. Mostly other fishes won't take it. Take it, yeah. So we can just use frogs it in the. Frogs are only known for uh, snake herds. Snake herds, yeah. yeah. And snake herds can be caught with bus uh, poppers, swimming lures, bus baits like these. This kind of bus baits oh. and everything. These are from Masi Tackle. Okay. Also the smaller model and with the bigger model, the price would be around nine fifty bucks or something. Okay. This is for making more louder action in the water. Okay. Okay. Comes okay. with the bigger blade. This comes with a smaller blade. Couple of blades on it. So has a inline single on it. Both of them has a single hook. Okay. So you don't miss any hook or something. They fish Masi also with this. And we do have the Lucky John spinner baits, the same meant for marlins, mahseers, all kind of fish. Mullies also. Okay. This guy is called, I call it wala gatu, wala. Uh huh. Wala, yeah, yeah. Okay. For that fish, you can use all these ones. Obviously, we do have some metal jigs, micro jigging metal lures, like for micro jigs for use for mainly for small GTs. Okay. And those kind of things like ranging from over 10 grams. All the way up to fifty, sixty, eighty, and goes on. And we have some soft clothes from. We had a quite lot of soft clothes from Lucky John. Right now they are all sold out, and we are awaiting the new consignment from Lucky John. Hello, how are you? So it will be in stock Hello. soon. Okay. Yeah. So the cost for yeah. the soft clothes yeah. are this one is four hundred and eighty three. नहीं ये गाधा घंटा मैं थोड़ा इधर काम से आया हूँ तो ये गाधा घंटा क्यों भी हाँ और रोड्स तब पराजित रहे ट्राइबल बीस रोड्स ओके एट फीट एंड द टेन फीट वन इस द एट फीट वन ओके एंड इस द टेन फीट एंड वी हाँ और जेगिंग रोड्स सेंटीनर सिक्स एंड सिक्स पॉइंट फीट एंड Yeah. And the basic cost for the you know pelagic tribe. The pelagic the basic cost would be this is a six feet rod. Okay. So the pelagic tribe dao. The cost of this would be thousand five hundred. Thousand five hundred. And the eight, seven foot would be thousand seven hundred, and the eight foot would be thousand nine hundred bucks. Okay. I have seen this actually. Yeah. How much is this? Will? This is uh two thousand two thousand nine nine nine. Three thousand bucks. Three thousand. The eight feet one can cast up to eighty grams of weight, and the casting weight is about one twenty grams in the ten feet.